blending frontier research with commercial sales viability is the ultimate goal for medtech companies. UNSW Sydney's Professor Justin Gooding knows this firsthand from developing and commercialising innovative ways to diagnose cancer and other illnesses to designing a 3D bioprinter. Professor, welcome. Now, you've been involved in research that's gone to market and is saving lives, so I guess the first thing, congratulations. Well done. No, thank you. But really, the congratulations goes to the people that take the science beyond where we go in universities and actually bring it to the market because it's such a difficult journey. Difficult journey and important work. Um, kick us off and tell us about the 3D bioprinter. How does it work? Yeah, so the 3D bioprinter is very similar to the old desk inkjet printer you had on your desk many years ago, where, where the printer produced little droplets of ink, which was the colour. In our case, it's not colour that it prints, but it prints little droplets that contain cells or little droplets that contain the environment around cells, as we'd find them in your body. And so then the idea is that the printer then builds up 3D versions of, of cell cultures or 3D versions of cancer, if you like. And it has wide-reaching applications in cancer and other diseases. And the printer has already been commercialised by Inventia Life Sciences. Where can the research go from here? Yeah, so it goes in a lot of different directions. This is really the, the, the very beginning of a very exciting field. We all know that we're three-dimensional, but all work is so far on cell biology. The majority, anyway, is done in two dimensions, little cells on, on glass slides. But we, we know that there's certain behaviours that we don't see with those cells on glass slides. And so what the printer does is allow us to make 3D cell cultures in high throughput. Um, and so there's, there's applications just in basic research but also the longer term vision is that we could then take a patient's own cancers, print those cells and then allow and trial those cancers against certain drug treatment regimes to learn what is the best treatment regime for an individual. So it takes us towards personalised medicine. And the breakthrough would be extraordinary, wouldn't it? The implications of that. Absolutely. Anybody, everyone uh, has known people that have cancer and they know that the, the oncologists do an amazing job, but they have a couple of key challenges. One, working out what's the right drug treatment regime and the other, trying to work out uh, how effective that drug treatment regime is. And this printer can give uh, uh, help there in both of those key challenges. Okay, tell us about your work on the wearable patch that's being commercialised and, and who's commercialising it for you? Yeah, so we're working with a company called Neutromics. Uh, they're based in Melbourne and what they're trying to do is make a patch that would go on your arm it would just sit on your arm or somewhere else in the body, but most likely your arm, and it samples the fluid just below the skin and it will measure in real time uh, therapeutic drugs with the first uh, application being uh, the drug, the antibiotic vancomycin. And uh, with broader applications as well? Yes, so the, the technology itself is completely uh, general. It uses a sequence of DNA to detect the drug, and if you can change that sequence of DNA, then you can change the sorts of molecules that you can detect. So the vancomycin is the first product we will try and launch, but then if we succeed there, then the sky is the limits for the sorts of molecules that you could monitor in vivo with a back patch that sits outside your body. Extraordinary. How do you find working with startups? I absolutely love it. Um, absolutely love it because, you know, as an academic and, and as a researcher, what we really want to do is make a difference. Um, and we want to help, people's, help people and make their lives better. And Startups is a very active, vibrant community that really wants to do the same thing. So their vision is very much aligned with our vision. Their goals are the same as our goals. Okay, then what's next? What's next on the drawing board for you? Well, I think that with Neutromics journey is going to keep us occupied for an awful long time. Um, but um, in my own field, the, the, the areas in my own research, the areas that we're, we're really um, focusing on is trying to make sensors that can measure really tiny amounts of materials so that we can perhaps have early cancer diagnosis or, or detection of pathogens where the amount of, amount of species that's causing a problem can be super tiny. Extraordinary work, Professor. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Professor Justin Gooding with us here on the APAC Network.